Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. We join the followers of Kopesh today as they put the final touches on their little encampment. We really need to get all this stuff hauled in today, that's sort of primary goal number one. Primary goal number two is going to be to get some more turrets built. We're going to mine out some components, dig up some steel, and just build a lot of them, even if we don't deploy them. Because, uh, yeah, the primary defenses are going to be a big deal. Then we're probably going to start walling off uh, this area and making sure this is extremely defendable and then move ourselves into the mountain only once we are absolutely secure. Now we had Tony join us at the end of the previous episode which was pretty awesome and just as I started this episode we had some cargo pods drop down here somewhere. Uh, is that them? No. Anyway they dropped a bunch of joints, some smoke leaf. Ah they've really hauled it in. God damn they were, they were hungry. Okay, and uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but we are also taming up our Dobermans. Yay! They are quite easy to tame, these dogs. Uh, I'm not sure where they're... Medium handling skill is zero. Okay, so they are extremely easy to tame. Uh, and they are going to be doing the primary... The bulk of our hunting. I also uh, would like to add another little sort of caveat to the gameplay, which is I'm not going to make any weapons. Not a single weapon will be made. Not a hand weapon, that is. Only weapons we get are the ones we loot from corpses. The followers of Kopesh would never stoop to anything as disgusting as wielding a gun. Unless it was pulled off the corpse of one of the heretics, in which case it is, you know, in, in Kopesh's name, it is in his favor to, to wield such a heretical weapon against the followers of evil. So, which is everyone that isn't us, if you were wondering. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we're not going to be making any guns. So no bows, no arrows, nothing like that. Um, only, only, the only weapons where we're going to use, because Tony here is capable of violence, and the only weapons our cannon fodder is ever going to use is the weapons we managed to pick up, and so we can build gun turrets, but not guns. Just, that's an important caveat that I think I'd, I'd like to include, just for a bit of extra balance. Okay, so, the stuff is getting hauled in real well. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you, oh shit, a heat wave, that's bad. I forgot to mention, though, if you would like to have your name in-game, then all you need to do is hit that like button, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, as well as comment below. Just, uh, you can say anything you want, or you can say, hey, I'd like my name in game. Um, and that will add you to a list that I run through every series, and the random number generator will uh, pick you up from that list if you're lucky enough, and then you get your name in game. Aren't you? What an honor, honestly. You know, I mean, I don't know how people don't live for it like I do. Okay. We're going to have to deal with this heat wave pretty quickly, because we're currently living inside what is essentially, uh, you know, a heat wave of its own. So let's go ahead. We have a absolute dick ton of wood, uh, you know, nearby that we can harvest. So let's go ahead and we're going to carve out, say, that much space. Yeah? Say that much space? Yeah, that's probably good. And that's going to be our new bed. New bedroom, rather. Um, and let's go ahead and run power. Out and around. Now, we don't get this back from conduits, do we? No, so I'm going to rather run the short route. I don't really care if this looks like crap, because we're not going to be spending too much longer uh, in this camp, if I can help it. Like, tops three or four more episodes. Okay, so we need to deal with that heat wave, which means bed. And do we give them bedrooms? Is it worth it? You know what? It actually might be worth it to just do bedrooms right away. Um, just like little mini ones for now, obviously. Uh, so that's going to be open space. So that will be the wall. Door, door. I'm going to have to go one further down, but that's fine for now. Okay. Yeah, that'll that'll do. Okay, cool. Stick a door in there. And I don't really care if my disciples sleep in uh, in in the in the barracks. It's as long as Hun here is comfortable. That's what I care about. Let's get this table moved out of there. I'm not sure what we're going to use the geothermal generator room for now. Because we don't really need it in here, do we? And you can have your bed replaced. It's not a very good bed, but it'll do for now. Also, holy shit, Tony, you, you sleep a lot, man. Maybe that's just in comparison to, uh, to Hun. Because, uh, yeah, he does not sleep much. Okay. So, Tony, you are capable of violence. And even though I'm not going to give you a weapon... Oh, you came with your own club. Fantastic. You're going to come and beat some brats to death today. That's the start of your day, bud. Come on. Beat it to death. Fantastic. Uh, you can go and attack that fox. I want those things butchered. Oh, shit. The turrets. They're going to shoot Tony. No, Tony. Okay. Attack it. I don't think I got the mod that allows us to control the turrets. No, I didn't. And I think that's fair. 
Otherwise, we could use the turrets to hunt, which would be kind of a cheeky loop. No, no, my disciples have to do that kind of work. Okay, T Tony will beat that thing to death. Uh huh. Are you are you done, Tony? My man, can you kill it, please? It's got a fucking shot through the heart, and it's not dying. There we go. Did you rip off any limbs? Yeah, one and a half percent. What what got shot off? Poor poor fox. It's jaw. Ah, okay. Well, we can't really eat the jaw anyway, so not too much of a loss there. Now you need to come and rest, because you're probably riddled with bullets. Yeah, you. Yep. Yep. Fox scratched us twice, and we got shot twice. Okay, so refugee is being chased towards us now. The people of Kopesh are very accepting. We we take everybody. Uh, perhaps, but uh, do we want to take a factory worker who's 74 years old? I mean, he is cannon fodder. He's also iron willed and fast learner. Uh, we're gonna take him. Oh shit! Is everybody gonna be an iron willed fast learner? I'm almost certain they are. That's probably a glitch in my uh, setup. Ah, uh, oh well, it's fine. You know, I don't care. Okay, so we have our first attack, which is usually guy with club, but this dude has nothing. He has no weapon. So he's just, he's coming in with his fists. He's chasing. Maybe, maybe we, we pit the two against each other. Right arm is gone. Just, just gone. It wasn't ripped off. It wasn't shot. It's just, it's just gone. You know? Gone with the wind. Okay, this is, this is frustrating me. Can we put that back on fast? Ah. Fast. Fast. Ah, no. It won't let me do the thing. Okay, very well. Um, must. Can I say ignore? I won't do anything. What are you doing, man? You need to come up to the turrets. You're being a bit of a silly. Hey, you stole you stole our silver. Well, that's my fault for leaving it out there, I suppose. Okay, how much of our silver? Well, we we lost five. Hey, that dude pocketed a fair freaking pack of cash. Nice. Okay, uh, is is. Are his traits for how shit they are? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I didn't mean for that, but um. Oh shit! Do we should we start again? I didn't mean for everybody to be a psychopath. It was only supposed to be player colonists. Oh no! Let me go check that real quick. Okay, guys. Sorry for the weird cut there, and as you can see, we're not in the same location anymore. I realized. Um, upon looking at our raider, that everybody in the world had received the same three traits that uh, I had really hoped they wouldn't receive. That means everybody was going to be a psychopath and a fast learner, and there's a pretty good chance, for some reason, that some of them would also be iron-willed. And that was just because I had set up the, uh, the initial scenario incorrectly, and so this is me rectifying that. Um, this is my little starter base, this is the new map, I'll just give you guys a quick pan. We will, of course, be naming it Mount Wallier again. Poor Tony! will uh, not be included. Uh, he's, he's no longer with us, uh, but we did have our first escape pod crash, so uh, we can check out Hermine, or Hermione, uh, who is capable of violence, but not dumb labor. You will make a fine disciple. We can get her laboring at the research bench. Okay, so we need to get... We need to get a... And you know what? The, the people of Kopesh don't really believe in taking prisoners. So we're going to go ahead and rescue her, and uh, by by the grace of Kopesh, she will she will be returned to us. Uh, you know, her her gratitude will be such that uh, you know, she'll she'll join our colony out of the goodness of her heart. Okay, stick that there, and let's also go ahead and set up our stockpile. Boop, 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 boop. As you can see, I picked a far more defensible position for uh, round two of the camp. Sorry about that. I normally would just redo. The playthrough, you know, I would just like I was only one episode in, so I would have just started it again, and you guys would never even know that the first one happened. But um, I just do not have time. I like, I have two and a half hours <laughs> today scheduled for recording and editing, and um, yeah, if I if I plan to get that done, then I need to get this done as well. So we're just going to continue. It'll just be a bit janky initially. Did did something just flicker past the screen? Was that just me? I swear to shit, I just saw some things land, like uh, cargo pods or whatever. Anyway, Hun will get all this stuff hauled in. And uh, you know what? It sounds like jump cut time to me. Okay, jump cut over. Hermine is leaving us. I was busy setting up the, the wiring for the base as well, just so we have it. And she's decided that uh, no, she doesn't want anything to do with us. She's gonna 
go off on her own, which is unacceptable. Uh, the followers of Kopesh do not believe in violence unless it suits them. So, <laughs> uh, I hope you understand that I fully plan to take some pretty extreme liberties with the uh, with the lore on this one. Um, let's go ahead and throw in a wooden door there. We'll, we'll go beat her up and, and capture her again once all this stuff is put in. No, 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 no. Oh, you need wood. Can you chop down this tree? That'll that'll do it, right? Cut the tree. Yeah, sh oh, wait, we can't fight her, can we? Because we can't do violence. Okay, well, we'll get a little prisoner cor corner locked up anyway. Okay, so the goodness of our heart was betrayed. Yeah, she's kind of shit anyway. Bad back sort of sucks. I think that's like a... Just like a general loss to movement and things, which is... Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead. And... Okay, prisoner nook is built. We'll make that for prisoners. We can delete this. And build ourselves a bed for medicine. At the very least. That's a shoddy bed. Yeah, not surprising, is it? Okay. Uh, it's, look, okay, I'm gonna get some trees chopped, and then it's jump cut time again, just all the stuff is hauled in. And while Hun was harvesting up some berries for the evening, a refugee has been chased to our colony. A starfighter pilot named Shard Bowman Lucas calls us from nearby. She is being chased by tribespeople from the Red Pig Rama. Now, this is the refugee stats mod, which is fantastic. It tells you just some basics about the people being sent to your colony, because normally, this is all you get. Yeah, that's not much good. Okay, so she's 42, she's a fighter pilot, that means she can probably shoot. Uh, she's passionate for shooting, so that's a good sign. Uh, she's slow, and she likes being around at night, but that's fine. Bowman, the first of our disciples, has arrived. Okay, she's fantastic. Now, I know I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, but that was on a previous map, so <laughs> I feel like it's important to mention this again. But we're not going to make any weapons. Not a single weapon will be made by us. Okay, hunt back into base. Move, move, move. Moment, back into base. Oh god. Oh god, Sandra's so fast. Okay, turrets, deal with them. Can you shoot, please? There we go. Okay, Bowman, you're free to capture Senra. And you know what? Can you can you fight? Yeah, you can melee. Can you go ahead and get yourself that knife? Hun, you're free to go. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep an eye out on uh, on uh, Mr. Mr. Adventurous here. Let's go ahead and capture him. Um, because he's he's probably gonna end up Oh, and we got a wanderer! Hey, and now we can name our thing. Okay, now we, we know what we're calling it. Uh, this is going to be called the Followers of Kopesh. Same as before. And this is Mount... Oh, God. I can't remember what it was called now. Uh, Mount... <laughs> um, uh, we'll also do it shorthand. Mount... Uh, 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 um, Mo Molioka, right? Something like that? I can't remember. Um, monastery. Is that right? That's probably right. Okay, cool. There we go. If it's wrong, then that's going to be staring me in the face for a while. Okay. Senra has been uh, locked up. Uh, let's go ahead and try and recruit him. I don't care how good he is. Uh, nice. Okay, and we got so... Let's have a look at all these new people. All right, so we got a whole bunch. We got three names we can add to the list now if we get Senra, but two at the very least. So we got Shord, who is a uh, good shot, good intellectual. She's going to be doing our researching for as long as she lives. Holy shit, that is a fantastic colonist. Sparkles, you are an incredible crafter. How the fudge monkeys did we get that in a drop? That's great, but at least they've now got a bit of variety of character, which is... Which for me... Is a good thing. Okay, cool. Hunt. You are uh, training obedience. You were successful. Beautiful. Both dogs have been trained. I was uh, harvesting up some berries exclusively for that purpose. Okie dokes. Now, I'm not entirely sure how long this episode has been because of the weird jump cut in between, uh, but I have time enough today for one more. So, uh, one more recording, that is. If you would like your name in game, you know what to do, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below telling me that you would like your name in game. For those of you that have already done so, you guys are on the list and the random number generator will be selecting you from the crowd pretty soon. Uh, probably not in the next episode, but the one after that when I've had a bit of time to get feedback and uh, hear from people to yeah, so find out what everybody wants. Uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one, then. Cheers.